All right, welcome back everyone to this week's challenge where we'll be creating an ice uh, platform essentially. Now, in order to do this, I've kind of already set up the scene and set up the scripts, uh, but I'll explain it to you and kind of show you as well. So here in my game, when I move to the left, you can see I'm going at a certain speed and then eventually it stops and I go a little slower. So here, can't really see the ice. There's not really a visual, but the ice is there and this is kind of the uh, area of it. You can kind of see it in the scene. Now, how does this work? Well, it's actually quite simple. Essentially, all we have is an area 2D to control this. Now, in our area 2D, we need to check to see if a body enters and a body exits. When the body enters, all we need to do is adjust the speed. Now, to adjust the speed, we can just set the speed to a specific number, or of course, you can divide it by two or whatever calculation you'd like. Uh, so that's pretty much it for the ice. Now, one note that I would like to add is when you use the default uh, script inside of Godot for 3D movement, it will use a constant for the speed. Now, if I try to do that, this won't work uh, because a constant is supposed to, well, be constant. It's supposed to never change. So there you go. You see, it's going to tell us we can't do that. So we need to make sure that this is a variable so that it can change in the future. So that's pretty much it for the ice challenge. It's a pretty easy, uh, well, I don't know if it's easy, but it's uh, a simple challenge. And it's actually quite similar to the platform challenge from last week. You can kind of see I use the same uh, foundation. Uh, but essentially, yeah, there's just a platform. In fact, you don't even need a static body. You could just use an area 2D as the base, have a collision, and then have a sprite for the ice. Uh, that's probably what I would do, to be honest. And that's about it. Now, of course, you could also make this a... Uh, grid tile map if you'd like. Uh, I believe you could try that. Um, but yeah, so that's probably it for this challenge. I hope to see you guys next week for the next challenge. Uh, if you guys want to join our weekly challenges, uh, just join the sub subscriber list down below. It should be the first link in the description. And hopefully I'll see you guys next week.